This is a broadcast of SmallCapVoice.com, a financial communications and investor relations firm. SmallCapVoice.com receives payment for investor relations and financial consulting services that it provides to its clients. You should assume that officers, directors, and employees of SmallCapVoice.com or financial analysts mentioned and their families hold a position and intend to trade in these securities for their own accounts. This is not an offer or recommendation to buy or sell securities. Information in this broadcast is presented solely for informative purposes and is not intended to be nor should it be construed as investment advice. As in all investments, an investment in a featured company carries an investment risk. Listeners should review the company thoroughly with a registered investment advisor or registered stockbroker. This broadcast does not purport to be a complete study of the featured company or other companies mentioned. Information used and statements of fact have been obtained from the featured company and other sources but not verified nor guaranteed by smallcapvoice.com as to completeness or accuracy. Such information is subject to change without notice. You're wired in smallcapvoice.com. Following is a presentation of smallcapvoice.com, today's leader in investor relations, capital formation, and retail support. Now, with your online business briefing, smallcapvoice.com's Stuart T. Smith. Welcome one, welcome all to this online business briefing brought to you by smallcapvoice.com. And as you just heard, I'm your host, Stuart Smith. Now we're joined today for the very first time by Appya Incorporated. The company's traded under the ticker symbol AP. YP, and we're lucky enough to be joined by the chairman, CEO, and founder of the company, Mr. Jackie Williams. Jackie, how are you today? I'm doing great. I appreciate you taking the time to interview me this morning. I appreciate you taking the time out of your busy schedule to talk to your shareholders as well as our listeners. Now, for our listeners who may not be familiar with your company yet, tell us a little bit about what you do there. Well, we're a developmental stage company, and we specialize in the area of mobile app gaming and social media and business application. Very good. Hot market, indeed. I know our listeners may know a little bit about the app market, but as you know, of course, you could tell us a little bit about it. It's exploded, right? Since about 2005, this is one of the hottest markets there is. Without a doubt, you know, the mobile application industry is definitely in its infancy stages. And, uh, you know, it all started out with Apple when Apple launched the App Store, and it has just taken off since then. It's added other, other platforms. Google has come in to, to be a big player in it. And we're lucky enough to participate in both the App Store and Google Play, as well as Amazon. Amazon, a little bit smaller than the other two, but, uh, yeah, we're, uh, we're playing in all three. Well, you've been around since 2012. Now, you also, in addition to developing some of your own apps, you also work with strategic partnerships. How has that come along since 2012, and is that an area that's still a focus for you? It's still a focus. We're always looking for young app developers to come on board to team up with us. We've aligned ourselves with a great outsourced company that has done a lot of development for us, and that's basically where we focus so far, just with them. Going back to a press release, came out March 24th, Joe Abram Cicero Consulting Group joins App. Yeah, now this is a good strategic partnership, it looks like. In reading about Joe Abrams, the man's had a tremendous track record of success. And this is a big validation for who you are as your company that you guys want to work together. What's your take on it? Without a doubt, we're excited about Joe and the Cicero Financial Group. They're uh, working on some things that I'm really not able to talk about, but they've got some big things that they're working together with me and some other companies that have joined with them. And I think it's going to be nothing but great things once once everything gets rocking and rolling. I, I think it'll be great for us. Exciting times. Well, we'll make sure to check back with you on that press release a little bit later on in the year and see how things are developing there. But before we get too much further, you're our guest today. Jackie, tell us a little bit about your background. I've actually been working since I was about 11 years old. I helped my dad in construction industry. Uh, I realized early on that that's not the area of background that I wanted to be. It's, I didn't mind the physical labor, but it's just too hit and miss. You do great during the summer, but come Christmas time, your you know work slows down. And I realized that early on that I I wanted to do you know other things, and so I got into sales industry. I worked for a company in the wholesale floral industry for 22 years with their top salesperson for probably 10 years out of the 
22 years before I started in management. I got moved up to, you know, sales manager, kind of worked my way up the arena and eventually got my own store. And we were the top producing store for um, three out of the seven years that I was manager. And then I stepped down when I saw that Happy Hour was taking off and decided to pursue Happy Hour. I'd, I'd always been a business owner. I had some side projects and stuff like that that was relative to uh, the floral industry and stuff like that, event planning and stuff like that. And I knew that I knew it's something I always wanted to do is you know own my own business, own my own corporation, and build this thing big. You know, and that's and that's what we're after. We're, we're wanting, this is a legit business. We are uh, looking to build this thing huge, and you know we'd love to be a the next Google and employ, you know, thousands of people and, and that sort of thing. Well, very good. Well, let's talk about then the track record so far for Appia. When you look back on this year, 2015, and even into 2014, what do you see as some of the major milestones for the company so far? You know, the biggest the biggest achievement in 2014 is that we got public. You know, we, did, we, we went public the hard way. We did it through an S-1 registration. It was a long process. We, but we persevered. We, you know, we got through the scrutiny of the, the government, and uh, we made it. We're lean, mean, and we're ready to rock and roll now. Well, very good. Not only is it the hard way, but it's the right way and the clean way, and it's also the way you keep a lot of the skeletons out of the closet, which many reverse merger companies have to deal with down the line that they weren't even prepared to do so because they didn't know those skeletons were even there. Now, looking at the outlook for the company, what are some specific goals you can tell us that the company will try to achieve here in 2015 and early 2016? What are you working on now? You know, we're uh, we're just going to follow our business model, which is through M and, uh, mergers and acquisitions. You know, we we've, we've got seven or eight acquisitions that we're targeted. We're looking at scrutinizing them, making sure they'll fit with the company, making sure. You know, there's there's several things that we look at when we look at companies, and you know, once we look at all, all the all the things that we need to look at, and uh, you know, we make the offer and we try to pursue them. Well, very good. Now, the website for the company is appyea.com, A-P-P-Y-E-A.com, right there on that homepage. There's some very informative videos, but as Jackie's been saying, Appyea is a global media application developer for iOS, Google Play, and the Amazon platforms. The company operates its own titles, as well as what we touched upon earlier, provides strategic partnerships with promising mobile app developers. So, the company's always on the lookout for young talent, as well as target for acquisition, which as Jackie just pointed out, there's several that have been identified. So really, that's what we'll be looking for from you and your company here in 2015, Jackie, is some de development of the business model as well as development of your M&A strategy. Is that a fair summation? Uh, yes, sir. Just, we're we're going to pursue them strong, hot, and heavy. Very good. Well, once again, listeners, we are speaking with the chairman, CEO, and founder, Jackie Williams. With Appia, the company's traded on the OTCQB under the ticker symbol APYP. And if you want to learn more about the company, go visit that website I just gave you, appya.com, A-P-P-Y-E-A.com. You can also reach out to the company directly via the phone. 855-927-7932. Well, Jackie, it's been an absolute pleasure speaking with you today. We expect great things from you and your company here in 2015 and beyond. Thanks, Jackie. Thank you. All right, for Jackie Williams, this is Stuart Smith saying thanks so much for listening. Smallcapvoice.com, today's leader in investor relations, capital formation, and retail support, provides its clients with the highest level of service. Our audio interviews are disseminated to one of the largest opt-in audiences available today. How? We at SmallCapVoice.com believe in aligning and affiliating ourselves with other leaders within the investor relations community. By sharing resources, each affiliated firm is made that much stronger and each client is served that much better. Our focus is to identify and provide the very best financial services and solutions available to clients and their shareholders. For more information about our services, please call us at 512-267-2430 or visit us on the web at www.smallcapvoice.com.